All right, we're going to start our discussion of genetics and heredity um, with just the fact that we have a female and a male creating an offspring. And it's important to know that humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. And chromosomes are just these strands of material called DNA. Boy, that's sloppy. DNA. And on the DNA contain what we call our genes, which give us our characteristics. So let's say here's mom, and here are one of her pairs. And here's dad. And here's another pair. And so on these um, strands of chromosomes, you're going to have a gene for eye color. We'll say mom has blue eyes, and a gene for eye color on the other one. All right. Let's say dad has brown eyes. So here's a gene for brown eyes and another gene for brown eyes. And so what mom passes to you is only going to be one of these um, strands of chromosomes. Let's say gives you this one. And along with it comes that gene for blue eyes. And then dad is going to give you, let's say, this one. And you get a gene for brown eyes. All right, so you get a brown gene and a blue gene. A blue gene. That's a joke. All right, so important to note that each one of these, these individual genes, have a name. Each one of these is a different type of allele. That's sloppy. And the word allele comes from the word allele morph. And this word means other form, which makes a lot of sense because this is one form. This is one form of eye color, and this is another form for the gene of eye color. All right, and so when you know your your teacher talks to you about eye color or oh, <laughs> throws out the word allele, you'll know what the heck he's talking about. All right, um, so let's let's say that now we have to figure out um, what this what this infant what color eyes that baby's going to be. They get he's got one for blue and one for brown. Well, usually um oftentimes there's one gene that's more stronger than the other. Alright? And we call the stronger gene the, do the dominant whoops the dominant the dominant gene and the weaker gene the recessive gene. And in our next video when we talk about Punnett squares, we give the dominant gene and the recessive gene a letter to represent the gene, to represent it. Just like in algebra, you use a variable. So for here, our brown eyes, we're going to give it a capital B. All right, capital B because it's stronger and um, B standing for brown. And then recessive, we're going to give that a lowercase b, all right? Not for blue, but for brown. It's a weaker. It's weaker than um, the dominant. So um, when we get a brown gene, a brown gene and a blue gene, um, the brown gene is going to win out. And I know that's a little confusing. I'm gonna, there's more detail to it. You'll learn more about that on the next video. All right. So I hope to see you there.